Ladies and gentlemen, we've actually had a lot of people uh, ringing up during the course of tonight's show saying, you promised us Alan Partridge, where the hell is he? Uh, my wife and I could have been having sex all this time. Well, <laughs> wait no longer. The time is now. The place is Norfolk. The man speaks for himself. Hi, I'm Alan Partridge. I'm a busy man. One day I can be recording a TV show, the next I can be shuttling up to Harrogate to host a Get Motivated weekend for the Bostick Sales Force. But when I go back to Norwich, I like to relax by rambling. I switch off my mobile phone, put my pager on mute, and enjoy the stillness of the Norfolk countryside. Every Christmas morning I go walking on my own for two to three hours. I always ask the family to join me, but they make their excuses. It's as if they know that I, Alan Partridge, require solitude. I get on the A47 and I head for Swaffham. Swaffham was our stalking ground when we were young. We'd, we'd all pile into the back of uh, a friend's uh, mustard-coloured uh, Triumph Dolomite, and uh, we'd head over to Swaffham and have a picnic and uh, then drive home again. Great days. I'm not just Swaffham, I don't want Swaffham to get all the credit. It was the whole area, I'm talking about North Pickenham, Necton, Great Palgrave, Spall. We even went as far as East Walton. I mean, there was no stopping us. I mean, there's a caravan site there now. It's, um, it's quite a good one. It's not, not gypsies, I mean, it's proper toilets. <laughs> we're, uh, we're actually on the grounds of uh, Mike Oldfield's country estate. Um, we're not actually on his ground, this is common ground. That's uh, Mr. Oldfield's over there. Hergist Ridge, name of one of his albums. Um, we, we did ask Mr. Oldfield if we could film there, but he said being Christmas he wanted a bit of privacy, it's understandable. Uh, would have been nice, you know. A bit small minded, really. A bit nasty. <laughs> um, anyway, on with the ramble. Can't go over there, go over there. Oldfield hosts a celebrity clay pigeon shoot every Christmas. He invites around Paul Eddington, Adam Faith, Danny Baker, Moira Stewart, Edward Heath, and Mr Motivator. <laughs> and Francis Rossi of Status Quo. That's my watch. <laughs> Just lost, lost my blowing watch. Ha! Huh. Actually, keep that bit in. It's, it's nice. I think it's, it gives it a human touch. Nice. <laughs> keep, keep it in. Uh, I love birds, and I like to come here and make bird noises. I'm no Dr. Doolittle, but uh, there are times when I think birds are the only ones I can really talk to. Uh, maybe that's because I'm a partridge. <laughs> Someone should clean up these leaves. <laughs> In the same way I'm having a Christmas ramble, 2,000 years ago, the Holy Family had a ramble from Nazareth to Bethlehem, in much the same way that I'm having a ramble from Norwich to Swaffham. Um, although I'm not comparing myself with Jesus. I, I don't want to get bogged down in that whole controversy again. Right, so I'm not Jesus. I want to make that absolutely clear. Right, I am not Jesus. It's beautiful here. The nearest shop is over two miles away, you know, which is a problem. Um, somebody suggested building a small snack bar, but there was a meeting at Swaffham Village Hall, and the planning people said it would spoil the beauty of the area. So I suggested a compromise, which was to be a series of vending machines placed in hedges. It could give out Kit Kats, Mars bars, chunky soup, slices of ham, five alives, but uh, they voted it down, so you've just got to come prepared. I pack a finger of fudge. Got the size of a slim panatella. I used to uh, come here when I was at East Anglia Polytechnic. Um, there weren't particularly happy days. But uh, I come down here on my own, transistor, sing my favourite uh, pop songs. I'm a one man band. Nobody seems to understand. Is there anybody out there who'll lend me a hand? I'm a woman, man. <laughs> Thank you for um, joining me on a Christmas ramble, Anna Partridge. I've got to get, I'm going to go back to my wife now. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>